Hey guys, Chad Trofkerbin here from the Incredible Tutorials YouTube channel. Jim Mills and I have teamed up with Smith Micro to bring you these brand new Anime Studio 10 tutorials. So I hope you're ready, because we're about to get started. In Anime Studio 10, image textures have now seen an update. And I think you'll find these to be quite useful if you are working with images in Anime Studio. So first, we have a black rectangle here. Let's draw a blue rectangle then over it. And then we can take the Select Shape tool, click on the blue rectangle, choose Effect, Image Texture, Select Texture, grab a image here, click Open, and then click OK. Now, as you can see, this is how it worked before. We have a transparent background with these clouds and we can apply it to the rectangle. So that works just like before. But now if we come back here to the image texture settings and choose through transparency and click OK, you can see now it removes the object and it uses that transparency in the image that we have for that PNG file and now all we get is the texture. It still uses the outline of the object that we have it applied to, but now the object is gone, giving us a completely new effect. So that's pretty cool. If you'd like more information on Anime Studio, please visit the official Anime Studio website at anime.smithmicro.com. Thanks for watching, guys, and we will see you next time.